morning everybody. I decided to jump on today and talk about our little vacation that we just got back from. Five full days in the Florida Keys and five full days of the standard American way of eating. And it has made me sad. <laughs> Stepped on the scale this morning, up seven pounds from when we left. I knew it was gonna happen. I know a lot of it's bloat and water weight. It's still irritating and depressing to just think of five little days that can set you back seven pounds. My body does not like carbs. And I have to remember that. It was a good lesson. Not so much lesson learned because I've done this before. I have watched myself eat a bad day of eating and gain several pounds from one day. Heck, one meal can send me up a few pounds. So, I know that this has got to be a lifestyle for me. I've really got to cut out the processed foods, watch the carb intake for the rest of my life. I can so feel the bloating. My stomach is huge compared to what it was when we left last week. I feel like I'm pregnant. I'm miserable. Nothing looks appetizing to me. Nothing tasted good. We spent bukus of money on these meals and they just did not satisfy. I woke up starving every morning, which is something I hadn't been doing, and literally eating all day. That's the way I felt. And junk. Just junk after junk after junk. I'm glad to be home. I'm on my way right now to the grocery store. We are fixing to do a beef and butter fast for a few days. I do have another trip I'm leaving for out of town in a couple days, so I'm gonna do beef and butter until I leave. Hopefully get some of this inflammation down and the swelling and the bloating down a little bit. I'm only gone for literally 24 hours right back home, and I think for the next three days, I'm gonna do beef and butter again. I am just literally miserable. I am not feeling well at all. I'm puffy everywhere. I'm tired. I'm extremely drained. I know a lot of that's from the trip too because we did do a lot. We never stopped. Of course, that's the way my trips are. Nothing new there. But I can definitely feel a change in my body. I wasn't really sleeping the greatest. I slept really good last night because I went to bed probably maybe 11, 11.30 last night. I didn't get up till 10 o'clock this morning. That's not like me. I'm usually up by 6.37 and um, you know, getting up and moving around. My body is extremely drained and exhausted. So I'm glad I have another week off before I go back to work. Maybe I can get myself back on track by the first of the year and get back to what has been my new normal and um, try to get myself feeling better, get some energy going again, and get back on this weight loss journey. I was literally, when I weighed in before we left last Friday, Saturday morning, Saturday morning, I was 201. This morning, I was 208 on the nose. Ah, so frustrating to be so close to Wonderland, and now I feel like I've just blown it all. But I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna beat myself up. The vacation was worth it. It's the first vacation I've had with my kids in over four years, just me and them. And even though they probably didn't have a great time because mom drug them around to a bunch of lighthouses, I had a blast. I love being with my kids, especially now that they're grown. They say a lot of things I don't like, but they have potty mouths, bad, but they're funny together. They love each other so much and I watch them banter back and forth or play around or they just love on each other and it just makes me happy. It makes my heart full watching my grown kids be so close and love each other so much. It just gives me a feeling, I, I guess I did something right. I just feel like, you know, if something was to happen to me and I wasn't here that they would be okay because they have one another. So anyways, like I said, they may not have enjoyed the trip as much as I did, but I had a great time. Not happy with the scale results and how I feel this morning, but overall, the trip was great. The keys were totally not what I expected. 
I don't know, I was thinking like Galveston beaches that goes on for miles and miles and miles. They didn't have beaches there. It was a little man-made spot, so we really didn't like go lay out on the beach and hang out. We went to the beach and hung out a little bit, but it wasn't like we laid out on the beach and just hung out there all day drinking and chilling, you know, on the white sands while the sun that was pouring down on us. It wasn't like that. But um, either which way, I still had a good time. Keys one and done. Trip checked off my bucket list. On the way home, we found Miami Beach. On the way back to Fort Lauderdale, that's where we should have been for the full five days. That beach was nice. Big beach, full of sand, full of people. On Christmas Day, laying out everywhere. I was like, wow, this is what people do in Miami. They just come to the beach on Christmas and lay out. <laughs> Don't even spend time with your family and friends. <laughs> but maybe that's where I need to be when I retire. <laughs> just like laying out in the sun on Christmas Day. <laughs> it was it was an awesome trip. I'm glad I did it. I will get these seven pounds down, hopefully within the next week. I so want to see 199 by January 1st. That was my goal all along. I may not make it by January 1st. It's okay. I just have to learn to be more patient. We've had this discussion before because you know I'm not a patient person. I have to be more patient with myself it will come off. It has been coming off. I mean, I started this journey at 231. So it's coming off. I just got to get back on track and do the things I was doing before vacation. So here I am pulling up to the grocery store. It is time to buy some beef, some butter, and get home and start cooking and get back on track because I am not happy feeling the way I feel right now at all. Anyway, guys, just wanted to pop in say hello, let y'all know an overall view of how my little vacation went, and give you a little update on how life is going after vacation. <laughs> Miserable. <laughs> totally bloated. So hopefully the next time I pop on, give you a little update, I'll be in a better frame of mind, <laughs> and my body will be feeling better. <laughs> All right, guys. Like and subscribe, ring that bell, do all those good YouTube things down below, and I will see y'all soon. Bye. Don't be alright